today we will see like how to hatch and pattern any object in micro station so for that i'm just taking uh, some object like this and then i'm just drawing so once you complete you need to put escape one now i am just going for this hatch area tool so click that once you click you will be available with this window and here you have like spacing angle and everything for example i'm just selecting this is like a element method so element method and just i'm just going to select the element and then click outside so we can able to see like uh, in between spacing not uh, well and the angle also 45 degree so the same i'm just going to draw again so again i'm just going for hatch now i'm just going to put a uh, more spacing and i'm just going to put a zero angle so i'm just selecting and selecting outside now we can able to see how the pattern we are getting okay so here like we have associative pattern and this snappable pattern so now only snappable pattern uh, switched on so which means like whenever i'm just uh, taking something else so we can able to snap see the snap is coming so we can able to draw using that so that is what snappable but this hatch patterns right like it is like separate lines so if you want to put everything as a hatch one single hatch we can just go for hatch and here you need to go for associative pattern and you can able to select the for example now 10 and then i'm just going for 45 degree okay this is like associative pattern right so whenever you are moving everything it will move together but here it is different it is like non associated hatch so we can able to separately we can able to work with so these are like normal lines that is like associative property so now we will see like uh, having this kind of uh, object so hatch so here you have uh, like a union so union in the sense we can just go for associative pattern and then we can just select and then select so it is like coming like a union so the same we can just go for so intersection also select and select click outside it will come intersection but here when you are just moving right the hatch pattern not getting updated why because we need to check something here associative region boundary you can select that associative region boundary and then you can just remove this hatch now i'm just going for hatch again so go for intersection so now we will try to move something like this so we can able to see like a hatch pattern also getting updated so this is for region boundary we can able to check from there so now uh, we will see the difference option there see this one for difference so select and then select so only the difference portion we will get hatch so again it is like a region boundary switched on we can able to move then accordingly hatch pattern also getting updated okay but uh, this is like a one single entity like this kind of this kind of block we can able to use this kind of hatch but only with the smart line so this is like a separate entities so in that case we can just go for so flat method so take flat method and then you can just uh, click here and then click outside you will get so now we also have some other option so from here so here you have like ignore interior shapes locate interior shape identify alternating interior shape locate interior text like that so i'm just going for this so like this we have one some objects now i'm just going for hatch and here this is something like ignore interior shape so i'm just going for a element so select so it is like ignoring the interior shape so but same so we will go again like i'm just going for so flat method we can just go for locate interior shape and again i'm just going to select like this so it is automatically locating the interior shape also only the hatch it will come outside so interior shape it won't affect so the same if we have so go for hatch and here like identifying alternating interior shape and again i'm just going so it is selecting everything but hatch so it will come only for the alternate interiors so this option you can able to use so now we also have one box so we have some text so take some text and you can type some text 
one you can able to place somewhere here but it is very small so this is what the text actually so i'm just trying to scale it we have scale option here right so i'm just going to make it as 50 so this one is better so i just scaled it according to the box now i'm just going for hatch and i'm just choosing this option and then i'm just going for flat method so it will automatically come only outside the text area so this text margin also you can able to give if you want for example just i'm just going to copy only these two so you can copy from here so we will go again for hatch so text margin i'm just going to put some two so now i'm just going to give like this now we can able to see accordingly like text to margin we are putting now that's why so hatch like this so like this we can able to use this hatch area tool this is only for diagonal lines so in this hatch we also have an option called dynamic area locate that we will see like a uh, select that and you can able to like locate the area so accordingly it will hatch so otherwise i will try with the new boxes so now I'm just taking hatch and it is like a dynamic area locate switched on. So you can able to select and then accept. So this is called dynamic area locate. Accordingly, we can able to select and you can able to like hatch separately. So this is separate hatch, this is separate hatch, this is separate hatch. So like that, you can able to work with that option. So another one, we forget this one. On point basis, we can able to draw, for example, first point, second point, third point, fourth point, five point, and then click outside, you will get hatch. So you can draw whatever the points you want and you will get hatch. For example, if you want to draw some star like this. And then click outside, it will come. So this is like a points method. So like this, we can able to use hatch area tools in microstation. So in this option, we also have fill type. So we can just go for opaque or outline. When I'm just going for opaque, this is like a white color, right? So I'm just going for a, some uh, some uh, red color. So it is automatically changing there also. So now I'm just going for some uh, or by level, I'm just going. Okay, now I'm just going for hatch. So it is like opaque and I'm just going for flat. Only for here, you can able to go for so no need of boxes so you can just take a uh, some color so red color so you can able to so see this is what it is and the same for outline outline i'm just going for green so inside it will be fill color it is like a green so we need to switch on the fill color right so from here you can able to switch on the fill so this is what the fill color so this we already seen in many of the tools